is what looks like wedge tornado, EF3 is what it looks like to me. We have Colin Arnold with Homeland Security on the phone. Colin, can you see this video? It is terrifying. No, I actually can't right now, but thank you, Margaret. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely looking at this right now. We, we know that from the New Orleans Police Department that it appears they're not seeing uh, through their damage assessments a whole lot in the lower ninth ward as far as damage, but you know that may take some time. With There's about 8,000 customers without power right now in the parish, and, and they're looking at that and also out into New Orleans East. But what I would ask is that uh, clearly there's, there is something in St. Bernard Parish that we need to be concerned about, and I'd like to ask everyone to just keep those roads clear right now, let public safety do what they need to do to address those situations. And really, when we see these things happen, the tragedies occur afterwards when people are outside trying to clean up or grabbing lines or walking into things that, and just, you know, people need to be really careful right now. And I think that's, that's what we need to do. Colin, that is so true. I mean, how many times after hurricanes have we seen people who have actually died uh, from uh, clearing debris away and that type of thing? So uh, that's terrifying. We also have some live video up right now. If you can tell me where this is, and Colin, I'll try to give you, oh, that's uh, Travers, I think, who's getting ready for a live shot, but you can see the debris is down. Colin, your best advice for people right now uh, as we look at this terrible tornado uh, that moved especially across St. Bernard Parish, New Orleans East, and then uh, we have debris as well up into St. Tammany. And now what? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, no I more would say tornado right now, warnings. No more tornado warnings yeah. right now. So, Colin, your best advice? I would say that even though the warnings have maybe expired, I wouldn't. I would say right now that people should use extreme caution. Uh, they should stay put for the time being. Allow public safety to do its job. Allow that life safety mission to occur if it needs to in St. Bernard Parish. And, and we'll, we stand ready in the city here to assist St. Bernard with yeah. uh, whatever they need. Thank you, Colin. I appreciate that. And now we go to Gina Swanson.